Hey everyone, Dr. Manesh Gurren, your personal psychedelic neuroscientist here. Welcome back to the channel dedicated to exploring psychedelics, neuroscience, and mental health. Today we're diving deep into depression, a condition affecting millions worldwide, causing persistent sadness, fatigue, loss of pleasure, and profound feelings of disconnection. Despite current treatments, many struggle to find lasting relief, which is why psychedelic therapy is getting so much attention lately. Recent research has revealed fascinating and transformative potential beyond the common talking points like resetting your brain or boosting neuroplasticity, topics which I've covered in previous videos. But today I'll be focusing on three specific research-backed ways that psychedelic therapy can help treat depression beyond what you usually hear in the media. So let's jump in. Number one, overcoming isolation and restoring connection. One devastating aspect of depression is feeling isolated and disconnected from yourself, others, and the world around you. In psychedelic therapy sessions, people consistently report profound experiences of connection and unity. Studies with psychedelics like psilocybin and ayahuasca consistently show that participants experience deep feelings of interconnectedness, compassion, and love toward both themselves and others. And these powerful experiences can help you break out of cycles of isolation that depression can trap you in and help you reconnect to meaningful human relationships and the world around you. This fascinating effect was recently captured by the Watts Connectedness Scale, a questionnaire created by psychedelic researcher Dr. Rosalind Watts. And I've linked to this scale in the description below so you can take a look. Number two, healing trauma and emotional wounds. Depression often links back to unresolved emotional pain, trauma, or difficult life experiences. And psychedelic therapy seems to uniquely help people safely access, process, and release their deep-seated emotional wounds. Under therapeutic conditions, psychedelics like psilocybin, as well as quasi-psychedelics like MDMA and ketamine, can help people confront traumatic memories without experiencing overwhelming emotional distress. And this can lead to a profound sense of relief and help you move forward without being as weighed down by your past. And these effects likely also coincide with epigenetic and physiological changes that support greater overall health and nervous system regulation. Number three, enhancing flexible thinking. Another hallmark of depression is mental rigidity, which is when you're feeling trapped in repetitive negative thought loops. And research suggests that psychedelics can help you break out of these rigid patterns by allowing you to see your life from new perspectives and helping your ability to engage in new ways of thinking. In these studies, people often report gaining valuable insights into their lives, recognizing alternative viewpoints, making new connections between past experiences, and discovering previously unseen blind spots. This might, for example, relate to seeing how you've been closing yourself off from the love that your friends and family have been expressing towards you. Or it can involve realizing some of your past successes that you've been ignoring. This enhanced flexibility can be crucial for helping you step out of negative cycles of rumination and can empower you to embrace healthier thoughts and behaviors in a lasting way. So there you have it, three powerful ways that psychedelic therapy can help treat depression. By restoring a sense of connectedness, by healing emotional wounds, and by enhancing flexible thinking. Clinical studies strongly support everything I've talked about here and have found that psychedelic therapy can provide transformative lasting relief from depression for many people. Not everyone necessarily, but for many people. And note, that here in this video, I'm talking specifically about psychedelic therapy, not necessarily tripping with your friends and hanging out. Although these things can happen there too. So until next time, this is Dr. Mineshkur and your psychedelic neuroscientist signing off.